Ezekiel 37 verses 1 to 14, the valley of dry bones. The Lord took hold of me and I was carried away by the Spirit of the Lord to a valley filled with bones. He led me around among the bones that covered the valley floor. They were scattered everywhere across the ground and were completely dried out. Then he asked me, son of man, can these bones become living people again? Oh, sovereign Lord, I replied, you alone know the answer to that. Then he said to me, speak a prophetic message to these bones and say, dry bones, listen to the word of the Lord. This is what the sovereign Lord says. Look, I am going to put breath into you and make you live again. I will put flesh and muscles on you and cover you with skin. I will put breath into you and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. So I spoke this message just as he told me. Suddenly as I spoke there was a rattling noise all across the valley. The bones of each body came together and attached themselves as complete skeletons. Then as I watched muscles and flesh formed over the bones. Then skin formed to cover their bodies but they still had no breath in them. Then he said to me, speak a prophetic message to the wind, son of man. Speak a prophetic message and say, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Come, O breath from the four winds, breathe into these dead bodies so that they may live again. So I spoke the message as he commanded me and breath came into their bodies. They all came to life and stood up on their feet, a great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones represent the people of Israel. They are saying, we have become old, dry bones. All hope is gone. Our nation is finished. Therefore prophesy to them and say, this is what the sovereign Lord says, O my people. I will open your graves of exile and cause you to rise again. Then I will bring you back to the land of Israel. When this happens, O my people, you will know that I am the Lord. I will put my spirit in you and you will live again and return home to your own land. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken and I have done what I said. Yes, the Lord has spoken. We headed to the beach. We held, headed to Hellwell. We thought about a valley of dry bones. We saw the stones lying before us and it reminded us of that valley, lifeless, sort of dead. Then we looked around and we looked for the things that might create that skeleton. We gathered stones, we gathered seaweed, we gathered sticks, we gathered great big pebbles and together we built the skeleton. And then as we looked at the skeleton, we read the words from Ezekiel 37. And we thought about what would bring that skeleton to life. One of us leant forward and breathed, breathed just as it describes in that passage. Nothing came to life, but we could still imagine what it might have been like, what the rattling might have been. And we could feel the wind. It was very cold. We could feel it all around us and it just reminded us of the power of God. As we stood there looking at our skeleton, which couldn't rise to life, we were reminded of God's spirit within us and the amazing things that God can do in us. And we took time on our own to wander across the beach and to reflect, to think about how God's spirit could move in us and what a difference that could be and how that could bring us to life. Oh,